Alrighty guys, over my Star Wars review. Today I am reviewing Star Wars Clone Wars Season 7 Episode 11 Shattered, which was written by Dave Filoni and directed by Saul Ruiz, and it came out May 1st, 2020. God damn, what another great episode. I really loved it. Um, I really just loved it every second. <laughs> and whatnot, I, same as last two episodes, it's just been so fucking good, um, yeah, the episode was a bit slower paced than, you know, the last two, but it wasn't a bad thing, the tension and just the atmosphere of the episode was just great, the score was also great, um, too, I just, I just loved it all, uh, and, like I said, like, tension, atmosphere, being so great, it's, because, you know, we know what's going to happen, and, you know, we know the outcome, but, and whatnot. And obviously, we don't know how it exactly goes down, but, for these characters, but, you know, it, it just was great. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it just was a great episode. Um, kind of hard to say spoiler free, because of, what goes down. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to get into spoiler territory right now. Um, well, I guess four. It just was a, it was a great episode. I really loved it. Um, slower pace, but the tension and just everything was great. Um, and obviously once it did happen, it delivered. Um, and the score from, you know, Kevin Kiner, uh, you know, original stuff he, and I'll see some of the classic original Star Wars scores from John Williams were also used, and it, it, it's just great. Uh, the use of the score and whatnot, it's one of the highlights of the episode. But yeah, anyways, into uh, spoilers, I'll put up a time code if you don't want to listen to spoilers. So when I you know, go to my overall thoughts, which I usually keep. Uh, you know, it's basically just a grading. It's not really much, but, um, yeah, so, the episode, um, I guess I'll talk about 466, I'll just go chronological order, um, kinda, but, uh, you know, uh, 466, uh, you know, obviously, you see, um, Ahsoka, Rex, and the clones bring them all to a Bo-Katan and whatnot. But, um, there you go, Rex, and, like, Ahsoka and Bo-Katan talk, and, uh, Rex comes up to Ahsoka and says, you know, there's a Jedi Council, or, you know, you know, on a call, or, you know, a hologram, uh, and what, on one talk, so, you know, she goes there, but before she enters, we see, you know, that scene from Revenge of Sith, where, you know, Windu talks about sensing a plot to, uh, destroy the, to the, um, uh, destroy the Jedi. And whatnot. And obviously, I was like in the trailer on on two, but see it. And then after that, Ahsoka walks in and talks to them about how like, you know, Maul's been captured, and you know, they ask her to uh, bring him um, to them on Coruscant. So yeah, um, and I I really like the scene. Uh, you know, um, William Smith's window asks her if, uh, you know, it's like something that she did the stuff as a Jedi, and, you know, she, she says no as a citizen, and when you just talk about something else, and Ahsoka asks, and then, like, you know, when you says, oh, this is Jedi business, and nothing for a citizen, um, so then, you know, they all leave, but Ahsoka and, and Yoda, Stay there, and Yoda asks uh, Ahsoka if she has you know, something to say, and maybe a message for Anakin, which she says no. I'll, uh, you know, say what, you know, she'll say what she wants to say to Anakin once she gets to Coruscant. Obviously, we know how that's going to turn out, but, um, yeah. and she also doesn't tell, uh, them about what Maul told her, you know, about Anakin and all of that, so... Yeah, obviously, 
in hindsight, that was a mistake, but, um, yeah. But then, um, you know, we see, man, there's, a uh, there, we put them all in, like, this box thingy, which I guess, okay, like, suppresses the force users, and I guess it's used back when, you know, the Mandalorians were fighting the Jedi and whatnot, um, then, uh, you know, they board on to shuttle, and, you know, Soka Rex and the clones take them to the vendor, and it's during all this, like, the music and the atmosphere, you can just has a weird feeling to it. Um, you know, in the entire episode, uh, none of the clones really say anything other than Rex. Uh, it's like a, you know, just normal, not even normal, they just don't say anything. Uh, um, like, definitely during all the scene, like, none of that. And yeah, but, um, they put Maul in the cell, but then uh, Ahsoka and Rex head to the bridge, and, you know, they talk, and, you know, Ahsoka talks about how the Jedi, you know, she's also told they're supposed to be the keep, keepers of the peace, not soldiers. Even though all she's ever been is a, a soldier. And you know, Rex talks about how, uh, like this stuff was in the trailer, but um, how the clones are indifferent about the war. And you know, being a soldier is really all he's known and whatnot. And, you know, then it's okay. Like it says, you know. One good thing came out of the war, it's, you know, clones are good soldiers, and she also could have had a better friend with Rex, and they salute each other, which I thought that was a nice moment there. Um, but then another clone comes out and uh, tells Rex that there's a transmission um, he has to take, and you know, Rex asks so good. She wants to come, you know, maybe, like he says, maybe it's some good news about Kenobi on Utapal, but, you know, she says, you know, that she'll wait on the bridge, and, you know, Rex walks away, and then, you know, Ahsoka stands there, and then she senses that, uh, Anakin betraying Windu, um, and, you know, there's dialogue from that scene, Hayden Christensen, you know, some dialogue even determined. I believe Samuel Jackson uh, was also his voice for uh, Windu. I'm not sure. It sounded like him. It didn't sound like, um, I forget his name, who uh, voiced Windu in the uh, rest of the uh, show. But, um, and also, like, it's a little um, bit of a Matt Lantern. Lantern, Howard Pratt's thing. Um, voicing Anakin there too. So yeah, but um, then we see Palpatine tell Rex to execute Order 66. And then um, he's, you know, about to walk back into the room, but you know, Ahsoka comes running, knowing something was wrong. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, we see Rex, you know, he's trying, he's trying to fight it. Tells her about fives, and whatnot, but uh, you know he he can't fight it. And, you know that part was just you know so heart wrenching, you know, because you know you know that like he knows what's going on, and you know, but he just can't fight it. And, yeah, it was a sad moment, but um. Then other clones come in, and you know, Ahsoka has to you know, fight them, and I'm not, she, I don't think she actually ever kills uh, any of them. She, you know, cuts her blasters and just blocks the shots, but then, you know, she gets a hole in the roof and escapes, so, um, so, yeah, but, uh, you know, this Order 66, it, like I said, it was just heart-wrenching to see it, you know, happen, and with these two characters, Ahsoka and Rex, and obviously Rex was you know, definitely the most um, heart-wrenching part, but yeah, um, then, you know, we see Ahsoka sneaking around, um, and, you know, Maul, uh, the clones were going to execute Maul, uh, which I guess 466 also works on Maul, um, 
also Ahsoka, it's, you know, um, not a Jedi either, so, yeah, but, um, you know, clones are about to do it, but Ahsoka comes up and frees them all, and, you know, it saves them, and, but, she, you know, Maul is, like, thinking that she's trying to team up with him, but, you know, she says he, she's not, you know, rooting for him, not trying to team up with him. You know, he's just the distraction for her, so. Yeah, um. I, uh, I like that moment. Maul has been, you know, great in the past episode. And obviously, a few scenes he was in this episode, too, were cool. Um, there's some great, uh, cool action scenes of uh, Maul in, um,. This episode, I'll get into that in a moment, though, but, um, yeah, but then we see, uh, Ahsoka, like, um, find, but, um, you know, yeah, but, you know, Molly, you know, to distract the clones and whatnot, so Ahsoka can go look up Fives' file, and, you know, she does that with the help of some droids, including her own droid, R7, who appeared, I think it was, like, the Ryloth arc, and then the, uh, or, you know, at the end of season five, when Ahsoka leaves the order, um, so yeah, kind of very randomly in the uh, show, but um, and yeah, it's cool seeing them again, and you know, some other droids help her out. Uh, you know, they find out about the inhibitor chips and whatnot, and you know, they go and like the droids help capture Rex, um, like they. You know, run into him and block him off, and then give him a message from Ahsoka, and then you know, Ahsoka then shows up behind him, and then the droids knock him out, and they take him to the medical area, and you know, they're like scanning to see if they can find the uh, chip, and you know, they can't. Um, so Ahsoka goes up to him, puts her hands on uh, his forehead, and you know, says, "I'm, I'm with the Force, and the Force is with me." And then you know, Rex starts saying, and then the and the uh, chip gets found on the scan. So then they, um, the uh, medical droid removes it, but during that, the clones breach the door. And, you know, Sokka's trying to find them off. She loses one of her uh, lightsabers, and, you know, they're really probably going to kill her. And, but then, you know, Rick, Rex takes his blaster out and shoots them. Uh, and then one of the droids uh, seals the uh, door, and then, um, you know, and then he apologizes to Ahsoka, and, uh, and Ahsoka asks how widespread it is, and, you know, Rex says it's, you know, the whole army, uh, every single clone, you know, was told to kill the Jedi, so, yeah, that's where it ends off, um, oh, also, you know, Maul fighting, to see him go down the hallway, like, Using the force to rip off you know sides of the wall and like throw them at the clones and whatnot. Some some uh, gruesome stuff, but um yeah, you know Maul once again you know, a few scenes that's so it's a great last episode was great. So before that one scene still good. You know, Sam Witwer uh, voicing Maul has you know definitely been one of the best things these past few episodes and not. And, you know, I'm and just mauling the Clone Wars and Rebels as a whole, like, I've never, I don't like it when, you know, when they revive dead characters, but with Maul, they've done such a good job, and it's made me like Maul a lot more than uh, I did before. Um, so, yeah, and the next episode might be the last time we see him, so, and definitely, you know, like, Saying what we're voicing it might be the last time we, you know, he get, you know, there's an episode where, or thing, thingy, he does voice him, so, yeah, um, obviously I would love, you know, the, the sequel, the solo, um, you know, going off of what, well, in fact, there, there's so many storylines from solo I'd love to see more of, um, I would, even like just a live action mall series, you know. Um, with you new know, Ray Park coming back and you know, Whitmer 
voicing him again, but yeah. But yeah, this episode overall was great. I loved it um, so much. I'm excited to see how it ends on Monday. It's episode 12, Victory and Death. Um, obviously, in that episode, it's. Yeah, it's a bit bittersweet, though. Um, because, you know, I'm very excited to see how it. You know, the story, but. Also, it's kind of sad to see the. Fire, um, the Clone Wars finally, uh. Actually end, so. Yeah, but, yeah, this episode was great. Tension, atmosphere, and the music. Obviously, the visuals, once again, are great. Um, the characters. It was a great episode. I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, I'm going to give it an A+. Plus. My grading. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, I, I know I said I was doing breakdowns for episodes 9 and 10. I, I've been too lazy to write them out, so, um, yeah, obviously, I, this, I kind of did a little breakdown, the last episode, I kind of did a little breakdown, too, um, episode 9 wasn't as much, but, yeah, I don't know, I might just, uh, incorporate that into, um, my arc review, the arc review might be a little longer, but, yeah, well, we'll see, or, I'll just, do the videos by themselves, um, or just not do them at all, I'm not really sure, but, um, yeah, on Monday, I should have a review of episode 12, and then later in the week, a review of Season of Mandalore arc, and then, uh, Season 7 as a whole, and I want to do a, uh, Clone Wars full series review also, so, yeah, but, um, anyways, I've been Star Wars Review, catch you guys in the next one. Public. Sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. Great care we must take. Why would anyone walk away from?